1936, Racine, Wisconsin. One of the first dogman sightings to take place around the Great Lakes took place in the Wisconsin city of Racine, right on the western coast of Lake Michigan and very near to the border of Illinois. A man by the name of Mark Shackleman was working as a night watchman for the St. Coletta Convent in 1936. One night, during his rounds, Shackleman saw a canine-looking, black-furred, and carrion-smelling creature with what he described as long claws. The dogman was kneeling and scratching at an indigenous people's burial ground near the convent, but he fled as soon as Shackleman approached to investigate. He returned the next day, only to find footprints and claw marks, although, apparently, two of the fingers seemed to be withered, from what the night watchman could tell from the markings. Shackleman, scheduled to work two nights in a row, went back the next night, and once again, he witnessed the creature scratching at the mound. However, this time, the animal didn't run away, it stood up, six feet tall, and made eye contact with Shackleman. And then it spoke. It was only one word, though less of an actual word, and more of a name, Godra. The night watchman summoned up his courage and refused to run away. He simply maintained eye contact before praying to God, turning around, and walking slowly away. The dogman sneered at Mark, still staring menacingly, but didn't move. Mark Shackleman never saw the creature again, though he did often smell the dead meat scent.